how are you? I'm Yaris Maksin. Are you guys a parent? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, um, what's your name and date of birth? Zan Lynn, September 2nd, 2004. Okay, is it okay if I ask you some questions regarding your past medical history? Sure. Any allergies to medication? No. Are you currently taking any medication? No. Okay, so what brings you into this? I mean, this is not is being dramatic. Really? You're the reason why he doesn't want to talk about his feelings and his sleeping, hiding in his room all day. He's just lazy. So I would like to hear from the patient. Um, can you tell me what's been going on? Um, not much. I'm just sleeping a lot lately. I've been feeling very tired. Just no motivation to do much. Okay, thank you for telling me this. I'm going to relay this information to the doctor and it will be in shortly. We do have a PA student with us today. Is it alright if he comes in with the doctor? That's fine. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm the doctor. This is Andy, our PA student. So I heard what's been going on and I would like to ask you some follow-up questions, but would you be more comfortable speaking to us without your parents in the room? Okay, okay, let's give him some privacy. So when did you start feeling this way? It's been a couple months. A couple months? Okay. I also heard from the nurse that you've been sleeping more often. You don't really have an interest in things that you used to like. Do you also have any changes in appetite or energy levels? Mm, I've been feeling just more tired. I just want to sleep and maybe eating a little less. That's Is, about it. Okay. I see. Is there anything else that you still enjoy doing? Not much. I just like in bed and watching TV. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to ask our patient here? Um, yeah, so have you ever felt like this in the past? No, I have not. Alright. Um, have you ever seeked out medical help for this before? No, I don't know what this is. Alright. Um, do you know if there are any family members who suffer from any mental health disorders? I don't think so. And have you ever had any thoughts of harming yourself or others? I've never had the thought of harming other people, but I the, the thought of what would happen if I didn't exist anymore has crossed my mind before. And when you're feeling this way, is there anything that makes you feel better? Sleep. So thank you for answering all of our questions. It does seem like you are exhibiting symptoms of depression and I would like to refer you to a psychiatrist. Um, they will work with you to determine the best course of treatment, whether that's therapy or prescribed medications. Does that sound okay? Yeah, yeah. that's all right. Do you have any other questions for us? That's it. Okay, so then you can just wait here a few more minutes and our nurse is going to come back and give you the discharge paperwork as long as um, that's all right with you and the referral as well. Okay, thank you. Hey guys, that was the patient. But let's talk about my signs of depression that I displayed. I was having a flat affect, avoiding eye contact, showing signs of hopelessness, and I even had thoughts of suicidal ideation. Hi guys, so I was the nurse, and I was the first one that saw the dad acting the way he was acting. So as a healthcare provider, it's really important to be aware of other people's cultures. Um, the dad in the video was dismissive and sensitive. That's pretty much consistent how, how older generations view mental health disorders. Um, there's also other cultures that are ashamed of mental health disorders and because of that they don't seek treatment very often. It's important to get the patient one-on-one -on -one like the doctor did um, to see how the patient is really feeling. Um, hi, so I was a PA student and that was my first interaction with a psych patient since starting rotations. Um, I was able to learn a lot about diagnosing a patient with mental health disorders during my didactic year, but in person that was a lot more difficult. Uh, it was an interesting interaction, but honestly I had no idea what was going on, so I just took whatever notes I could. So the patient that came in today with depression said that he did not have any thoughts of harming himself or others, so that is why I recommended treatment for being a referral to a psychiatrist so that he can follow up with them and decide what is the best course of treatment, whether that would be therapy or prescribed medications. If, however, the patient was to answer and said he did have suicidal thoughts, previous attempts of suicide, or harming others, then this would have warranted a more emergent response. 
and as a healthcare provider, I would be required to have this patient be admitted to involuntary hold. And here are a few steps on how to take care of a family member with depression. First, educate yourself on depression and its causes, symptoms, and treatments. Second, be a good listener. Let them express their feelings and emotions without judgment. Third, guide them to seek professional help. And lastly, don't forget to take care of yourself and be patient with recovery process. Show your love and support. Back in my day, there was no such thing as depression. I had to walk 25 miles just to get to school and never once have I felt depressed. This new generation is soft. 